A very, very good afternoon to you. It's just me, Scotty McClue, and we are, of course, live on the big one. We're live on TikTok Live. Always lovely to have you with us, and welcome, 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 I say, dinky-doo, to our afternoon pop-up. That's what it's all about. Now, you can stop scrolling, because this is what you should be watching. This is where everybody gathers. It can be a Saturday afternoon, a Saturday evening, a Sunday morning. Doesn't make any difference. There's always somebody in the world enjoys a chat with Scotty McClue. And why not, I say? That's what it's all about. So do feel free and come and join us. There's hit songs saying, Happy Saturday, Scotty. A very happy Saturday to you as well, hit songs. And just great to have you with us. I know people scroll through very, very quickly. So they'll only spend a few seconds, a few minutes with Scotty McClue, but spend as long as you can. Yes, do something different. God bless and good health to you, Scotty. Mama, thank you so much for coming on. Very, very much appreciated. Do tell me where you're from, of course. Um, hello, how's your day going? So there we are. Who led Czechoslovakia before Dubček? Before Dubček... Czechoslovakia, oh D, it's on the tip of my tongue. Yes, absolutely. Uh, uh, Czechoslovakia, yes, yes, Dubček, that rings a bell. I've got it. I can't get it out of the recess of my mind. You'll have to help. There we are. Come on, England. There you go. Are you cheering England on at the moment? How amazing is that? Dinky do, I say. There we are. Fantastic. Come and join us, guys. I know it's a really odd time to pop up. Uh, coming up for a quarter past two on uh, Saturday afternoon in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. There we go. Uh, Novotny. Novotny was before Dubček. So there you are, Novotny. Anybody around here who remembers Novotny? Uh, do come and tell us. Very, very important. Share it, D. Share everything around. Share the videos. Let's get a bit of chat going. Morning, Duke of Dundee. Onion badge. How lovely to hear from you. And dinky do. Fantastic stuff. So good. Guys, I can't tell you how important these lives have become, how interesting these lives have become, you know, because of the caliber of the people that were getting on them. That's what I find so strange. Yes, of course, we've got a wee troll or two. Why not a wee troll? What year was NATO founded? NATO was founded in 1948. So there you are. NATO was founded in 1948. And the reason I know that is because the Duke of Argyle, uh, twice removed, worked for NATO. So there you are, Ian Campbell worked for NATO. I know he did something for him. I think it was the public relations side. Bobbins, thank you very much for sending me a beautiful red rose. Guys, I am so overwhelmed and much humbled by the quality of your gifts on here. It's incredible. You're beautiful, beautiful people. All the little TikToks, the red roses, the Diamond King, the Peril. We had the wonderful Maria Knight, uh, who is, she's almost been like a sponsor for Scotty McClue on TikTok. You know, a wonderful lady, and she has been so generous. Hi, I am King Henry V. Yes, that's fine. And uh, Henry V, so therefore, we could start uh, with the prologue from Henry V. Oh, for a muse of fire that would ascend the brightest heaven of invention, a kingdom for a stage princess to act and monarchs, to behold the swelling scene. Then should the warlike Harry, like himself, assume the port of Mars, and at his heels, leashed in like hounds, should famine, sword, and fire crouch for employment. But pardon, gentles, all the flat and raised spirit on whose imaginary forces work. Think when we talk of horses that you see them printing their proud hooves in the receiving earth. And then it finishes up, you know, gently to he hear, kindly to judge our play. 
There we are. Dinky do. Uh, fantastic stuff. I don't have money. Here's an emoji. That's beautiful, Donna. You don't ever worry. Nobody has to ever, ever feel obliged to give Scotty McLean anything. Apart from their attention. Yes, yes, you need your attention. Thoughts on Kenny Everett. Loved him, Onion Badgie. Very, very, very highly talented man. You know, in one way, it's a shame he worked for the BBC because working for ITV, I think, may well have opened up a lot more of his talent. You know, I mean, the BBC, wonderful organisation. I'm not knocking it. I know it's had its moments, but I'm not knocking it from that point of view. But from a point of view of discovering talent, it's got a pretty poor t track record, if you know what I mean, from that point of view. Uh, so there we are. You know, ITV, much better at just discovering talent. A lot of it due to Lou Grade. Lou Grade, you know, I mean, I've been in and out of the BBC for a number of years doing different little bits and pieces, but never has anybody spotted my talent. Do you see what I mean? They've never spotted it. Whereas ITV, somebody actually said, if Lou Grade was alive today, Scotty McClure would never be off our television screens. Isn't that amazing? Well, boy, what are you doing, you generous, lovely person? You're giving me fortunes. Fortunes. I've been sent 63 red roses by Bob On. There we are. So Kenny Everett, wonderful. Left us far too young. Uh, what did the Soviet Union set up in response to NATO in 1955? Oh, what was that? Was that the space program? Would that be the space program they set up then? Remember me, Major Gargarin, Yuri Gargarin. Remember me, of course we remember you. Ah, oh, hello, Scotty. Hi, Scotty. Dinky do. There we are. Now, footy feet, you'll have to go because you should know you never, ever, ever troll Scotty McClue. And that's banned. That word is banned on here. As soon as Andy starts that, can I kick off? Gone, toast away, finished. Hello from Florida, USA. Enjoying a beautiful Independence Day weekend. Bless you, sir. Can I wish everyone, my fellow Americans, yeah? Can I wish all of you a fabulous Independence Day? Dinky do. That's what I say. Uh, can I see your action men? Well, they're upstairs in my room. Hi, Scotty. How are you doing today? Dinky do, Scott. We are doing wonderfully. And it's so lovely to have everybody come and join us. And guys, you've been so generous. Thank you for all that. Maria Knight has joined us. Maria always joins with a flourish. And she's just sent, I think it might have been some sort of wonderful shower confetti or something like that. Scotty, how are you doing today? Hello, Scotty. Hope you're well. Maria Knight, we're amazingly well. Yes, and wonderful to be back with you all. Absolutely. We had a quiet day yesterday because I was looking after a friend who, uh, who wasn't terribly well. Uh, so we had a quiet day yesterday, and uh, we're back saying dinky do. Do you like One Direction? I like lots of directions. You know, thank you. Bob On has sent 65 red roses. Isn't that beautiful? Have you ever met Princess Diana? Um, no, I didn't meet Princess Diana. Uh, so there we are. I didn't even... I didn't even see Princess Diana, uh, you know, in, in the flesh. I, I just saw her on television. No, I didn't. But I'll tell you what I did do. I was living in Sheffield in Yorkshire. Beautiful, beautiful place, by the way. Lovely, lovely people. And I was living there. I was working for a radio station called uh, Hallam, Hallam FM, Radio Hallam. And... Um, it was a Saturday. I was off duty. I was off. And it was a Saturday night. And I uh, had a lovely evening. And I was just going to my bed. I was getting that sort of, hey, go to bed. And for some reason, I don't know why, I put the telly on. I lifted the telly zapper and I put the telly on. And right at the announcement of Princess Diana's. Well, no, it wasn't her death that was announced. It was that there had been a car accident in Paris, that Dodi Fayed was dead, and Princess Diana 
had been injured, but they thought not seriously, I think, at the time. They were after Scotty Dinky Doo from a hot Alta Fula on my way back to Norwich. Right, Neil Dinky Doo, what is that? Hello, Scotty. We'll be supporting England tonight. I see no reason why not. England has often supported me. There we are. The eleventh commandment, Andrew, you're absolutely right. You never, ever, ever troll Scotty McClue. Dinky do from McElroy to McClue. Bob. <coughs> Pardon me. Bob McElroy, folks, out in Long Island in New York. Where did I put my water? I'll have to have a sip of water. Scotty, have you heard of the Clan Lockhart? No, I haven't. But one of the finest people I ever met was called Lockhart. So there you are, I can tell you that. Will Sushabi, Maria sent me confetti. You're an angel, Maria. Thank you so much. What do you think of the England score will be? No, 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 no. If I tell you the score, you might not watch the game. How popular would that make me with the football clubs? And how popular would that make me with the football governing body? And how popular would that make me with the television companies? So, no, I am not going to give you the score. You'll have to watch the game. Scotty, can you list all the countries that border Moldova? I can't, Dee. No, you must tell me. So there we are. What do you think? Uh, there were Disco Pete. How lovely to have you. I love you, says Nuts and Bolts. I thank you, Nuts and Bolts. You are very, very kind. There we are. Excellent. The wonderful Scotty looking most healthy indeed. Alfonso Belafonte. See, how lovely to have you with the scusi, scusi, bella, 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 bellissimo, Alfonso. See. Uh, share the live, everybody. Have we all shared? Uh, Disco Pete has just joined us and sent me five gorgeous TikToks. What does Dinky Doo mean? Dinky Doo means is all well with you and the world. 29 years ago last Monday was the very first Scotty McClue show ever. 29 years. I posted it on social media and this lady said an amazing, incredible achievement. So there you are. Uh, Scotty, as many Eastern European countries as you can. Eastern European, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, um, uh, Crimea, um, uh, Hungary, Turkey. Um, I'm just keeping going to Budapest is, uh, is, is, is Hungary, Hungary, Turkey, Czechoslovakia, Poland. Um, how am I doing? Am I getting anywhere at all? Uh, what else have I got? Croatia, um, Bosnia. Uh, do you remember Herzegovina? There you are. All these. Uh, hello, handsome man, my most favorite man ever, Susie Babe. How lovely to have you with us. What are you doing sending me all these beautiful red roses? Susie Babe is sending Scotty McClue red roses, guys. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Welsh. Good afternoon, Susie Babe. I thank you. Oh, fantastic. Guys, everybody seems to love the lives, but we're a little bit down on followers and likers recently. Now, what's the reason for that? You can level with me because we talk. That's what we do. And we need to get this moving. Hi, Scott. Hi, Dinky Ducho. Uh, name as many South American capital cities as you can. D, I'm not a big geographer, so I wouldn't be your best one for this, you know? <laughs> Rio de Janeiro. How about that one? I am a friend of John from Lerwick. Welsh, bless you. Thank you. Well, you know, we're thinking a lot about you at the moment. Tell John that that tribute will be on the YouTube channel from the other night. Yeah, it was because I'd gone over my hour. I couldn't put the tribute, edit the tribute and put it here for him. So if he wants to hear it, it is on YouTube. 
I thank you. Name all the 50 states in alphabetical order, says Emilia. Emilia, where are these questions coming from? I am not actually, uh, uh, you know, I mean, I'm not a geographer. I'm a historian. <laughs> so there we go. Football's coming home. Fantastic. I'm feeling very rough today. This is why I don't drink all the time. Susie, babe, don't drink at all because you don't need it. A, you're very, very beautiful. And the only benefit ever of alcohol, apparently, and I don't know how much of a benefit that is, is as a social de-inhibitor. Apart from that, it's bad for you. So I would say you don't need a social de-inhibitor and you want to stay beautiful and stay fabulous. Yes, and look after your lovely boys. How about you name the most unknown U.S. state? Is that Alaska? Have I got that right? Is it a, on hour one? Um, I don't know. Well, it is only an hour. So if you go to the YouTube channel and you look at, was it Thursday night? You'll see it there. Thursday, Thursday night, Thursday two. It's about an hour and three minutes or something like that. The broadcast and the tributes part of it. Just scroll through until you get it. Uh, follow us, guys. Thank you very, very much. It's coming home. Hi. Hi, Buzz and Wood. Dinky do to you from me, a Scotty McClure on a Saturday afternoon. How amazing is this? Has everybody followed me? Uh, I say Rhode Island. Rhode Island. Aha. Scotty McClure fan. Well done. Uh, who have we got here? Follow us as soon as you can. Thanks, Tweak. And thanks, Oliver, for following. Scott McClure, I loved listening to you on the radio. Absolute legend. Have a listen to my TikTok video that went up this morning. It went up last night and there was a little bit of music in it. I had to edit out. And it's, uh, we took it down and, and um, you know, put it back up again. So there you go. So you will see it. It was done last night, and it's a little bit of radio for you on the national anthem. Follow us, guys, as soon as you come on. Um, I don't know, Eve Whitty, is this a clean joke? There we are. What's orange and sounds like a parrot? A carrot. <laughs> Scotty, it's so good to see you. I am the boss. We love seeing all of you, you beautiful, beautiful people. This TikTok, as I say, apart from two or three tiny little trolls who just don't know where their head's at, you know? Well, I have an idea where their head's at. You know, apart from them, the people on here are beautiful. They are so outstanding. Hi from the Highlands of Scotland. We love you in the Highlands of Scotland. E Whitty, thank you for my beautiful two red roses. It was Thursday night, Scotty. I watched it last night. Maria, was it all right for these beautiful people? Because you can only say what you feel. You know what I mean? Uh, on TikTok with a deepest Scotty accent. Scotty, who's the beautiful woman who passed? Glenn, that was Glesney Lerwick Gull, who had been with us virtually from the start of the lives, I think. Susie, babe, thank you for sending me beautiful red roses. Don't spend too many, though. Don't spend too many. Keep them for, um, you see, well, I, I know you can spend some because you don't need any beauty treatment. So you keep them for that. So there we are. But uh, Susie, babe, that's very, very generous. Uh, Susie, babe, who's one of the most beautiful women in the world, has just sent me 50 red roses. Ooh, wow. It actually made me cry. Bless them. Bless them, Maria. Yes. Scotty, do you have any children? Uh, no, 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 no. Who would have me? Don't be silly. There we are. Where are you from? Uh, I am from Scotland, Alison, from the west coast of Scotland. Scotty, my heart goes out to her family. God bless her. Thank you, Glenn. You're a lovely, lovely man. Oh, Scotty, you're pure charmer. You kiss, kiss. Oh, thank you, Susie, babe. Mm. There we are. Love to you, of course, but it's important. There you are. So you've just put half of your cost of your beauty treatment into Scotty McClue's TikTok. <laughs> OMG. Uh, you look like Obama. In what way, links? Is it the hat? Uh, wonderful stuff. I'm in Inverness. Ah, listen, you're in Snaggy, where they speak the best English in the country. 
That's what I think, anyway. From Inverness, they knew it so well. Scott, you love the Dennis, the menace look. Yes, I was a menace long before Dennis was, I can tell you. Do you think Korean unification is possible in the next 10 years? Well, it'd be possible today if people get their act together. <laughs> in the neck, absolutely up in the schnicky. You kind of look like Snoop Dogg. Well, he kind of looks like Scotty McClure. That's what it's all about. Did you do in the schnicky? Fantastic. So lovely to have you all with us. Thanks for joining us. I know it's a bit strange on a Saturday afternoon popping up live, but I had to come and see you all and see what you're saying to it. Have you ever heard of the Caper Kelly? Yes, dear, I could do you one. Are you ready? <coughs> Caper Kelly. There you are. Long Island, Brooklyn, Manhattan, the Bronx, New York, all have different accents. Bob, what accent am I talking now? Is it American? Am I even American? I don't know. Any song for us today? Anthony, I might play you something on the piano in a moment. Scotty, the Murray put a variant, a valiant effort in Jimmy Kim's second. He's an inspiration. Glenn, have you seen the, the Andy Murray video on Scotty McClure's TikTok? Get yourselves on there, I say. Hello, hello, me wee babber. Dinky do, your wee babber is here babbering. Babbering away here. Have you been watching the Euros? Only the Scotland game, Scotty. It sounds like a patient in a hospital accent. There we are. Well, it's also very close to a keeper, Kelly. Uh, oh, that was a patient in a hospital accent. Have you ever heard of Drum the Drocket D? I know Drum the Drocket inside out. I have friends in Drum the Drocket. So ask everybody in Drum the Drocket if they know Scotty McClue. Uh, Scotty, yes, I have. Great guy. Andy Murray, he's our greatest wee Scotty. Well, somebody was asking me the other night who was Scotland's top sports person of all time. And I think Andy Murray has got to come well up there. Kareem has just joined us and sent me two, three beautiful TikToks. Thank you, Kareem. Lovely. Another four, five TikToks. Kareem, you're very, very sick. TikTok, stop. There we go. Kareem is one of these beautiful people who's been with us since the very start. He used to be the first caller on the Nation Radio Scotty McClue Nightline phone in. There we are. Scotty, if I go to the UK, what should I do first? I think, Bob, uh, just give your hands a wee rub. Go to the loo. Give your hands a rub. Freshen up. And then just enjoy yourself. It's party time. There we go. That's what I do when I get off a plane. So there we go. Bob Paisley. Ah, Bob Paisley. Yes, indeed. Scotty, Scotland's greatest sportsman of all time. Big rugby player, you know. Uh, have you ever been to Glencoe? Many, 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 many times, do you? Yes, I remember going to a wedding in King's House. Fantastic. Lovely, lovely. Scotty, first time I saw you. Uh, you're a laugh. Uh, first time I saw you, you're going to laugh, loving it. Good creek, mum. Absolutely, Alison, very important. You go round the drum, the drock it, people, and say, right, since we're all here for the community meeting, has anybody ever heard of Scotty McClure? And just see what the reaction is and then report back. Hello, Scotty McClure, haven't saw you for a few days. Do you remember from your cousin EJB? How could I ever forget ya from your castle and war laughs? Are you looking at us? <laughs> ha ha, will do. Absolutely, Alison, they will love it. Uh, what was the last time you went to, and D says, uh, one of the big shops. I don't think I've ever been in that one, ever. So there we go. Hilarious. Thank you very much. Very, very kind of you. EJB Dinky Doo. Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you all with us. Fantastic. Scotty. Uh, us none of Scottish contingent. Scotty, us none. Scottish contingent, love you, Scotty, just as much as your contingent. Oh, so, Scotty, us non-Scottish contingent, love you, Scotty, just as much as your contingent. Scotty McClure, whatever you think of me, I, I have to say I'm very much loved right across the world. Two billion people have heard of Scotty McClure. But they might not all live in Drum the Drocket. 
There you are, you see. Sorry to be a pain uh, was at the beginning of the live. Welsh, not at all. It's lovely to have you with us. Listen, Welsh, I have trolls coming on here who turn themselves around and come and be a very, very valuable member of the TikTok community. Scotty McClure live. It's coming home. Do you think Octane? Guys, I want all of you to go and uh, look at the Scotty McClure TikTok videos and follow me, please. Scotty, sorry about the tongue twister. Not at all, Glenn. That was a cracker. You had me going there. What's a dinky do? Well, dinky do is just is all well with you and the world. That's what matters about that dinky do, I say. Um, oh, yes. Uh, oh, about Glesney. Yes, indeed. No, no, a fabulous, fabulous lady and with us from the start. Yes, absolutely incredible. And may she rest in peace and rise in glory. Yes, wonderful, wonderful lady. Lovely family. I so have much appreciated all the uh, back and forward on the live videos. Because, guys, we're talking to real human beings out there. And in my experience, human beings of tremendous caliber. Every single one of you. Lovely, lovely. I don't know how anyone could troll our Scotty. Susie Babe, they don't know our Scotty. Remember that TikTok is introducing a whole new generation to Scotty McClue. I've just, I mean, you can't reach your 29th year last week. I'm now in my 30th year of Scotty McClue. So people that were 60 when they started watching me are now 90. People that were 70 are 100. People that were 50 are 80. People that were 40 are 70. People that were 30 are 60. Do you see what I mean? I'm so sorry for not being able to upload the video about the Scotty car. The picture was too blurry. Big boy, toot toot. Not too worry. Scotty, I missed the interaction on the phone or on Skype. Someday we'll arrange a new phone in and get everyone on there giving us their opinions big style. Absolutely. You'll hear some lovely stuff on the Scotty McClue TikTok videos. Get yourself onto them. Newcastle, Long Island is a small, dangerous town. Bob, everywhere's dangerous if you make it so. If you, you should go out to Newcastle and be Big Bob. No one messes with Big Bob Mac. Yes, indeed. I spoke to John yesterday, says Welsh. He wishes to say thank you for everything. Uh, Glesney is going home to Wales. Yes, indeed, Welsh. Thank you for that. Very interesting. And, of course, that's a big Welsh name, isn't it, Glesney? Yes, bless her, I say. You know, Gles Glesney is home. Glesney is home. Yes, absolutely. I think wherever Glesney was, was home. And I know she just adored Shetland. I like your helmet, says Lucy Diff. Lucy Diff, do you like that? The police stopped me last night. They said, excuse me, has your hat been checked? See what I just did there? How amazing is that? I remember listening to you all night in my dad's radio. Those are the days I had grown up with you. Susie, babe, do you and I go back that far? Now, Irish Free State person who said to me, hello, sir, up the Irish Republican Army, I'm sorry I don't share your enthusiasm for that bunch of thugs and terrorists who have never, ever, ever done anything good for Ireland. Okay? That's just what I'm saying. You know, the, the Irish Republican Army, I know there's a few thugs still floating about thinking they're gangsters, but to be honest with you, the Irish Republican Army died the day Lord Mountbatten died. Lord Mountbatten did not deserve that, nor did his beautiful family. And uh, that was the end of the Irish Republican Army. Gone, finished. And it split the movement right down the middle. So, no, 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 no. And Lord Mountbatten was a man that if you guys had had a word with, he would have known what to do about freedom and politics and everything. The man had uh, the man had been the last viceroy of India, the commander-in-chief in Southeast Asia, and the head of chief of the defense staff, the head of the Navy. Oh, heavens above. 
And you guys come out with that kind of stuff. No, sorry, Irish Free State. I love Ireland to bits. I know it inside out. I know the whole history. I know everything. I have a lot of empathy and understanding with the various positions. You guys need to move on and chuck that nonsense. Okay. Just telling you. Just saying. There we are. Scotty, there's not enough of you to go around. Glenn, you lovely person. Dinky do, Scotty, my old pal. Have you ever played Shinty? No, but my dad did. I think it was quite a violent game. I prefer the hurling. When I go to Ireland, I'd go to the hurling now. There we are. And uh, have I ever played Shinty? I used to read the Shinty results on television. They would phone them in the Kamenach Cup. They were King Yussi and Lochaber and all these teams. Scotty, I just fell down the stairs. Please be careful, everybody, while walking down the stairs. Billy, are you okay? You know, I mean, if you can come on Scotty McClure's live. Glenn says, Scotty, I have to ask thee. Of course you can. You said my name wrong. Lucy Diffin, did I say your name wrong? What bit did I say wrong? I think John and Ella will move from Shetland, says Welsh. Well, yes, I mean, John and Ella will need to take some time and and think what is what. You know, that stuff. But uh, the important thing is that, I mean, poor John must just have been all of you through so much in the last uh, month or two, you know, just... Incredible. You're lovely people. That to you from Scotty McClue. Bless Glesney, I say. I'm from Ireland. We don't usually say Irish Republican Army. We say IRA, and they have been active. Look, I know they've been active, but they shouldn't be because it's just thuggery and criminality nowadays. You know what I mean? Ireland needs to move on. I adore it. I cannot stand peace uh, been broken in that way, you know, especially when so many great people have worked so hard to achieve it. That's what I say. Scotty, is the only thing that annoys me with this concept is not enough characters. Are you joking, Glenn? How many characters are you wanting? There we are. Uh, they've been around Derry a few times. I know that, look. Yes, they have. These men were born into a state that did not want them. So they made a decision to take action. Yes, but it wasn't the right decision. Do you see what I mean? It caused so much suffering for the people of Ireland, you know, and so much suffering for the families. There needs to be more talking. Uh, do you know, Mr. Snow? No, I don't, Lee. There we are. BG, I'm in Greenock, you lucky, lucky person. Scotty, I have to ask the question, is it coming home, Glenn? You know I can't reveal that. Because the second I tell you it's coming home, nobody's going to watch the games. Now, how popular is that going to make me with the football clubs? How popular is it going to make me with the television companies? That Scotty McClure gave it all away. Told them it was coming home and gave them the scores. Hello, TNS, the noble Scotty Dinky do. Scotty, I remember being a wee lassie howling at you in the radio. Susie, babes, what a lovely, lovely memory. We must get some calls going on here. There's no such thing as the new IRA. Look, they are just thugs, to be fair. Yes, and everybody in Ireland knows that. And they are actually thoroughly detested. So even in their own schemes, they're detested, you know. Uh, the Republic want unification. Well, do they, Sedge? Uh, you know, have you spoken to the Taoiseach? Said, listen, are you happy to pick up the bill for the North if it comes to us? You know, that sort of idea. Fetty, the fetty, deaf, yes. Just like Scotland want independence. Well, no, it's not just like Scotland wanting independence because Ireland is Ireland. Yes, Ireland is Ireland. And it is an independent country, you know. Uh, so it's got independence. So there's no just like Scotland want independence. You've had independence for 99 years. Okay. There you are. Scotty, I mean, to, uh, so much to type and so much to say. Glenn, I know exactly what you mean. I have really, really suffered for my art on social media for about the last 15 years, 20 years. 20 years, because I have to type. I'm not a typist. I'm a talker. And 
any media I've got, I prefer to talk. I prefer to discuss. I prefer other people to talk and to discuss. So typing the keyboard warriors. I mean, I put a very valid thing up today. Back comes one word insults from the halfwits. Not on TikTok, I hasten to add. Nothing but genius on here. Scotty, yes, absolutely. I know you've got a lot to say. We need to get a channel where we can get the old show back without restrictions. That would be heaven. Yes, and the rule should be if you don't want to listen, then you don't. If you don't like it, don't listen. Nobody's allowed to complain. Nobody has the right not to be offended. How, un how unwoke would that be? How much would the world love that? How much would the world waken up? There you are. Uh, that would just be so incredible. You should be verified. I know, Peter, but no luck at the moment. Scotty, stop sitting on the fence, please. Make a prediction. Come on, la. Glenn, if I give you the results, the television companies and the football companies would be furious. Football clubs. If I tell you what's going to happen in the game tonight, nobody will watch. <laughs> I've Irish family from Cork. My brother-in-law is a Collins and has a mother who is a Murphy. Now, they'll hardly be conspicuous, a Collins and a Murphy in Cork, said Sydney. I have to tell you that, but I adore Cork. I love it. Absolutely love it. So there we are. Fantastic. And, of course, a Collins, we had Michael Collins. Mm. What about that? Uh, no one wants violence. I was told by someone in the north. They just want to be in the UK for the benefits. Yes, because a lot of people want to be part of the UK because it's good money. You know, I mean, the North has never been so well funded. Scotty, that is why it frustrates me because we want to talk to you one to one. I know what you mean, Glenn. We should do that. 1,000% says Susie Baby. You angel. Thank you very much. Yes, that's what we need to do. We need to get the calls coming in. And I think we find some sort of platform and we say, and we don't have one where everybody goes, no, 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 you, no, we, we, we wouldn't allow you to say that. No, 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 we'd have to have to take that video down because it's not woke. Uh, that sort of idea. And we just say, we just talk. There we are. We're not rude or offensive to each other, but we just talk. You know, you see, if you look at everything I've said over the last 29 years, it's all the truth. When I used to say young people would not get pregnant if they kept their hand on their halfpenny, correct. All of that, correct. So there we are. I'm a nudist. Does that offend Scotty? No, said Sydney, not at all. In fact, I think you've probably picked up a lot of admirers on here. There's too many snowflakes about these days, Scotty. It's very disturbing. I think everyone should live in love. No fighting or cruel. It's a joke. Love and peace. Susie, baby, of course you are 100% correct. But that would mean a lot of redundant politicians. And even some redundant world leaders. Why are we going to keep these people around if, we've, uh, if we all thoroughly enjoy each other's company? <laughs> and everything's well. Scott, I used to love your fighting talk. Controversial, you've mellowed. Glenn, I've not mellowed at all. It's just TikTok would stop it if I started. To see, if I started, they stop. Did you ever play rugby as a young side? Did said Sydney. Tight head prop. Down fast. Boom! Uh, Scott, are you left or right wing? I'm not any wing, uh, to be honest with you, Mr. Feet. I'm not any wing at all. I am apolitical. That's why I'm not mainstream media right this second, right on your televisions on something like BBC One or ITV. You know, I'm not on there because people think, well, the only Scotty is a very, very talented and brilliant broadcaster. I've had it for years on this, but we don't know his politics. Oh, what if he said something? Oh, what if he said something, you know what I mean? There are a quarter of a million people listening. In fact, a lot of the television channels now don't have the figures I had for audiences. Incredible. I have wings because I'm a bird. White wings, they never grow weary. They carry me cheerily over the sea. Night comes, I long for my dearie. 
I spread out my white wings and fly home to thee. Isn't that beautiful? There we are. How do you fight off all the Scotty hungry ladies? Serge Sidney. You know, there's no problem fighting off nobody. <laughs> what a lovely thing to say. Howdy. Howdy, Toby Keith and Dinky Doo. I say, it's wonderful stuff. Now, do come and join us if you've just arrived. Excellent stuff. We love it. Welcome, welcome to Scotty McClue live on a Saturday afternoon on TikTok Live just for you. There we are. Roswell says, yes, damn foreigners. And of course, there's no such thing as a foreigner. It's very, very interesting. I was very upset with Scottish people the other day um, going on about the Queen, uh, that she actually had German ancestry. So what? Had they checked their own ancestry? And plus, if you've got German ancestry, what a beautiful thing to have. You know, I mean, apart from the, the dreadful years, uh, you know, for, for, for Germany, the Germany have been so good to us. Do you play Clash of Clans? No. There's enough clashes on here. Scotty, this is a pre-match entertainment before the match. Glenn, when does the football start? It's coming home. Says Wilson. Amazing Wilson. Dinky do, I say. All political parties should be shoved down the swanee. Josh should be shouting, down the swanee. That's what we do with the trolls. We shove them. Where do we shove the trolls? Down the swanee. <laughs> it ain't right. The Queen shouldn't have been a German ancestor. It doesn't matter, Rose. Our ancestry is outstanding. The Queen has so many wonderful bloodlines. A lot of it's Stuart. And her father was a descendant of King Robert II, the great Scottish king. There we are. Denmark versus Czech. Please let it not come home or we'll never hear the end of it, says Lahub. But Lahub, what if it was coming home to Ireland? Would you not love that, eh? Uh, do join us if you can, guys. Very important. What do you think the score will be for England versus Ukraine? Guys, I am not your bookmaker. Now stop it. And as I say, I am not at liberty to give you the score before the game's been played. Otherwise, people will be very upset. And we don't want that again, do we? You're coming home live here in the United States. <laughs> so you are, uh, what have we got here? I, I love this. You're coming home live here in the United States. So you are a damn foreigner. We love it, Rose. Absolutely. Uh, so had I been an American citizen, I would now be your next president. Isn't that beautiful? You would have Floti would be POTUS. Floti, hashtag Floti would be hashtag Flotus. There we are. No, no. I am a child of the universe. I am welcome in every country in the world, particularly America and Australia and Canada and the Arctic and the Antarctic and Russia, China, Japan and uh, South America, Europe, there are, the UK, Ireland, our whole bloodline, they've married each other through the years, ancestry, more like ancestry. No, Fabian, don't uh, ever, ever, ever diss the Queen. She's quite outstanding. Wonderful, wonderful public servant. Incredible job. Still putting in a full shift at 95. If you diss the Queen, you're dissing the Crown. If you diss the Crown, you're dissing the whole of the United Kingdom. No, 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 no. Remember Her Majesty the Queen's the head of state uh, and our first sovereign lady, um, our lady in Scotland. Yes, absolutely. So there we are. So, uh, Fabian, let's get you on the move. Going the right way here. You've had your head stuffed with some serious nonsense. There we are. Scotty, the Irish can't even qualify for the bloody tournament. Well, I hope never mind all that, I say. Let's have a drink and go to the Hornin. I don't drink alcohol, though, so I'll have to have a softy in the pub with you there. And we'll walk down to the meeting of the waters. <laughs> Fun maker, yes, said Sydney. How's you, Dinky Doo? Your voice is beautiful, says said Sydney. You are so kind to me. I love the accent, says Justara. Justara, Dinky Doo, Justaran. 
Just Aaron. Yes, just Aaron. Hi, I'm from the Philippines. Josh, we love you in the Philippines. And dinky do, I say to all of you watching Scotty McClure on this lovely Saturday afternoon. A bit of pre match entertainment. When's the kickoff for the football? Hi, I'm from Denmark, from Danska. Yeah, lovely to have you with us. Hi, mate. I apologize, says Fabian. I should think so too. Yes, indeed. You've got a lot of a lot of learning to do. Scotland forever in my heart. Because it's absolutely Sissy Babes. Two thumbs and a big smile, please, said Sydney. Did you get it? Ha! <laughs> How many kilts do you own? Do you have a family plate pattern? Yes, I do, Nate. It's beautiful. Dark green and purple. Have you ever watched Scarface? No, but I've had a couple of close misses, I could tell you. Dinky do, lovely to have you with us. Thank you, Terminator, for that one. Love it, Sensitive. Was that all right for you? Bit of nonsense, you see. Now, um, when did I start this? We've still got a few minutes. I think I might give you a tune on the piano in a minute. Would you like that, fan? Fantastic. This is what we like. A bit of nonsense on the piano. Yes. Uh, can you do a dance in uh, Kiln One Live? Oh, I do lots of dances. The football starts at 5 p.m. Oh, we're laughing. We're laughing. We've only got about another uh, 14 minutes, I think, and then I'll have to dash. Yes, please, can I have a shout out? Terminator. Of course you can have a shout out. Listen, just so that you all know, we started the lives just to cheer people up because the news was so depressing, you know? Absolutely. Uh, hello from the Philippines. Good evening to you. Good evening, uh, Janelle. Janelle or Janelle. Fantastic. Dinky do, Terminator. You're very welcome to have your shout out. Do you like the badge, guys? Scotty McClue, Dinky do. There we are. That's always good, isn't it, I say? There's a Scottish man on here who dances in full Scottish dress. Such fun. Yes, said Sydney. Absolutely. I'm watching the Rovers game. Is that Bristol Rovers, Blackburn Rovers? Who have we got there? I used to live in um, near to Blackburn. Fantastic. Blackburn Rovers were massive at that time. I can remember it. Let's become a couple of the Queen's times are Dan Mac, the Queen might be elderly, but her time will never ever be up. And the second Her Majesty decides to leave us, we'll have a new king. Yes, the monarchy is vital if you're wanting to still carry some weight in the world. If you want to be just some weak in a backstage nothing, then you know, remember hang on to the monarchy. And um, this is the rock that independence could perish on. If you get anti monarchists, they are effectively anti Scott and anti independence. Telling you now. Sheffield Wednesday are massive Scotty. The owls, Glenn. Could be the Irish Rovers. Is it Wraith Rovers? The Wraith Rovers, you're oh it's Wraith Rovers. She said, I'm watching the Rovers. I thought, well, who's that? Is it Blackburn Rovers? Is it Bristol Rovers? Do you know Roy of the Rovers? There we are. Was he not next to me in the comics? <laughs> Everybody like the videos, guys, as soon as you can. I can have lots of likes and lots of followers. We're very low on followers during this broadcast. So please, a lot more following right now. Come on. Uh, say they may take our lives. But they will never take our freedom. There we are. Do you know the song the Irish Rovers got to yell? I used to sing it at the top of my voice. So I used to go to folk clubs. Do you remember the Clancy Brothers and Tommy Meekham? The Barn Bracks. Yes, am I talking your language? Scotland should take over the UK. Great Scotch, deep fried everything in the dancing and music. Said Sydney, you must not assume everybody has your lifestyle. Well, there we are, dinky do, a uh, very very fine nation. Yes, indeed. Uh, come and follow us as soon as you can, guys. We've got lots and lots to talk about, and so little time to do it. And time just flies in when you're enjoying yourself. Have you heard that before? Hello again. This is my sixteenth time seeing your time, Platon. Thank you very much. Live, yes. Uh, everybody on TikTok should be watching. So if any of you can do anything to increase the viewing, 
do so. <clears throat> What's the best deep fried food to try in Scotland? Fish and chips. Uh, I've got the high ground. There you are, skincare walker that we all know. That you're beautiful, Max. Thank you. Scotty, I bought some Scottish tablet from a retail outlet. Very creamy. Very nice. Stop. Stop. Ah, uh, yes, indeed. So there we are. Ho, ho, how's your day been? Yes, indeed. The Bernbrex. Yes. I wish we had old Ireland over here. Do you know that one? Fantastic. There we go. Now, that's one of my favorites. Used to play it on the radio. I got requests. People are falling over themselves for requests, you know what I mean? Uh, does Scotty do yoga? I tie my shoelaces, which is a similar sort of thing. You know, absolutely. Yes, indeed. I saw a sign recently that said, if you fancy doing yoga, you can start by picking up your dog poo. What a thing to say to our yoga people. <laughs> so there, Look at the size of that muscle. For goodness sake. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, I've got a hole in the back there. <laughs> Dad Bob's rule, the numbers are in. Absolutely. Good for you. Serge Sidney. Does Scotty do yoga? We love it. There we are. The numbers are in Dad Bod's rule. How amazing is that? If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, and we are, of course, live on the big one. TikTok, TikTok live. Check out Scotty McClue's lives. Look at all the TikTok videos. Get on to the Scotty McClue YouTube. Guys, I could do with half a dozen of you going to the YouTube channel right now and subscribing. What about doing that for your old chum? Uh, amazing stuff. The youngsters will be scrolling through. They'll go, oh, it's an old guy. It's an old guy. He'll not know anything. <laughs> it's an old guy. We'll not stop scrolling. We'll carry on scrolling on. Stop scrolling, I say. This is where it's at for you. This is the big one, the one everyone's talking about, the one everyone is listening to. Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, hashtag float eye, and we are live on TikTok. And the time is just coming up to five minutes past three in the afternoon. Scotty, you're the main man on TikTok. Legend. Uh, Brian, uh, Bruan, Bruan, thank you very much for following us. That's fantastic. Uh, don't speak about yourself like that. Absolutely, yes. That's the view term. Oh, Mark. <laughs> Mark signed his post. Guys, before I send Mark down the swanee, can we have a look at his post there? He's called Mark Duffy. Mark Duffy 13, and you'll see what he said. And he signed his post. Are you all seeing it? Fantastic. Right. We're now going to celebrate Mark's ignorance by sending him Dun the Swanee. And we're ready, guys. Here we go. Everybody shout bye, Mark, in one, two, three. Wait a minute. Here it goes. One, two, three. Bye, Mark. There he goes. God, what a shame, poor love. Right, there we are. Fantastic. Love all that, though. There we are. I'm Jay Crowder. Yes, thank you very much, Jay. Uh, you're certainly crowding me. I can tell it's wonderful. I already know you're amazing. Bruan, I think you do to you, I say. There we go. Scotty, the young generation, want to see jumping from buildings and controversial videos. Well, I'm maybe not jumping from any buildings. You know, but, uh, yes, controversial. Well, would you say Scotty McClure has ever been controversial? In 29 years? Scotty, how are you? Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Bye, Mark. Bye, everybody. There's Mark away doing the swatty. We love it. <clears throat> now, Scotty, did you... What are you on about? Cook. Uh, Cookie, we're just going to send you off because you're a wee bit silly. There you are. Listen here, it's coming home. Well, we'll see. I don't know. Any jokes, says, said Sydney. Yes, I went into the doctors. He said, can I help you? I said, yes. Can you help me out? He said, uh, which way did you come in? Good evening from Western Australia. Uh, we love West Australia. Alan, what time is it in West Australia right now? 
Scottish, a lot of singers and vain people on TikTok. Ah, well, I don't think I could ever manage any vanity, Glenn. So sorry to disappoint you guys. And um, I can do a bit of singing, yes. Maybe a bit of dancing. Scottish, do you remember my triplets? They say, hi, Marvin. I do. Hi to your triplets and hi to you. How lovely, lovely to have you with us. Fantastic. Uh, 10.06. Wow. Guys, in West Australia, it's 10.06. Morning or evening, Alan. There you are. Do you have the 24-hour clock in Australia? Now, it's time I wasn't here, guys. I'm going to have to push off. But don't let that spoil your afternoon. And uh, have a wonderful, wonderful afternoon. Have a wonderful evening. I hope you enjoy the football. Those of you who are watching it, I know there'll be a, a handful of you. A handful of you looking at the football. And uh, a very good evening to Alan there. Uh, fantastic stuff. Now, uh, time for me to go. So we'll sing the goodbye song. Are we ready? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vita zain. Au revoir. And a cheerio. I love every single one of you. And there's not a thing you can do about it. Dinky-doo. ta -ra -las. <laughs>